What's up guys, Mr. Big and Mac here with a quick update on the Apple iPhone. Now I know you guys can tell that I have a head cold slash chest cold and I figure what the hell, I'll do the video anyway. Um, due to a recent post on the internet at a uh, certain blog site, um, Steve Jobs has replied to the problem with the new iPhone dropping the signal because of the way you hold the phone. That doesn't seem right. That's like telling me not to hold a pencil this way, but to hold it this way. Hmm. Will they ever admit that this was an ongoing problem? The you know since they started production you know, before they even started production. Well, of course they did. They already did it. Yeah, they already did it at CES. They pre they uh, brought out the bumper case, which ain't nothing but a band that goes around the outside of the phone. It covers the problem. Make no contact. They could have fixed it. Okay? That's their um, that's their cure for the beast of a problem that they have, have occurred with their phones. Um, now I know people are going to say, well, not, you know, people are saying 99% of people that have an iPhone carry a case on it anyway. Yes, but that's not the point. Okay, the point is that they put out a product, and I'm, I'll tell you what—I'm extremely happy that I did not leave Verizon to uh, to go to AT&T for a year or so until Verizon got the iPhone. Because if I would have switched services and bought that iPhone and would have been having this problem, I've been highly pissed. Um, you know, I know a lot of people put cases on their iPhones and stuff. But um, that's not the problem. They knew that it, it was a problem. So instantly, on release date, they should have knocked the twenty nine ninety five price off the off the bumper case and had somebody, you know, okay, you want this phone? What color, what color bumper case would you like? Tell them the reason why. You know what I mean? Don't say, well, you know, um, Here's here's the phone, and here's an additional case that you can buy to you know protect your phone. Well, they should not have did that. They should have said, "Well, here's the phone that that you're paying you know good hard-earned money for, and since we screwed up, we're gonna try and make you spend an extra thirty bucks on this case to cover our asses on a you know on a fault on the phone that was in you know it was a defect in manufacturing." It's a real simple thing to fix. Now, I, if Steve Jobs, if you're watching this video, Okay, real simple way to fix it, brother. You put a clear coating on the outside of the antenna. Whoever would have thought of that? <laughs> it um, it didn't make no sense. Uh, the, I'll tell you what. The first night that I was watching that on C, I um, was watching the clips from CES, and they showed the antenna parts on how they had split it up. Okay. Um, first off, um, it's just like when you have a radio and you, uh, mess with the antenna, put your hand on it, stuff like that. Um, it usually drops the signal. Okay. Now, sometimes if you touch the antenna, it grounds it and takes some of the static out, but it will never make the sig signal stronger. Okay, so why they put a bare antenna on the outside of a phone, on the edge where your hands are going to hold it. I mean, you know, you pick up a, I don't have my cell phone here beside me. I use my remote. You pick up your cell phone, you know, hello, you know, you don't go, hey, how you doing? Or, hey, uh, yeah, how you doing? That's not how you hold a phone, especially when it's kind of cost you 600 bucks if you were, um, you know, if you were still not eligible for upgrades, you know, you're really holding on to that thing. You're you're gonna talk on it. You're not just gonna be like, uh, hey, uh, how you, how are you doing? Yeah, I, I can't touch the sides of my phone because I lose just I'll lose signal. I'll drop you if I do. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, you got me now. Okay, okay. Yeah, here we go. So now not only do they have <laughs> the iPhone, and I, I'm a fan of the iPhone. I would really enjoy having one. If they got it off that bummy ass AT and T network, okay. And now I'm really glad I didn't get this new one, due to the fact that um, it's flawed. 
it's it's not a working you have to add something to it to make it work okay and something tells me this isn't going to be the first thing that we find out's wrong with this thing um you know it was uh there was too much leaked there was too much too much put out on it um they they really should have freaking scrapped the whole thing you know stop you know stopped any kind of uh manufacturing on it. they should have never even assembled them um especially since they known they knew that there was going to be an issue with the antennas um hence the bumper case um now i kind of thought that this was weird whenever it come out um i never expected anything like this to be there but for apple to produce their own case for something or their own something on the day of release that kind of was like hmm well, why, why would they do that what's you know it, it's not like there wasn't a lot of information leaked out that all these other iPhone case companies that you know produce knockoffs and trash and I mean there's really good ones but you know you know these Japan companies had the fingerprint cases out already uh, there was one there's one that had a uh, a motorcycle tread pattern out already there was a couple that had slatter phone cases already um, you know so it was there was more than enough information out that there was no reason for them to put that case out okay now I think that they put it out because they knew that there was going to be a problem and they were hoping that a lot of people wouldn't catch on because Oh, I'm gonna hurry and protect my iPhone. I'm gonna buy this the day that you know I'm buying my phone, and that nobody would have ever know the difference because you know they would have went and got a spec case or you know whatever other cases there are for the iPhone. Because I'm not really up on on that stuff because I don't own an iPhone. But um, but yeah, I think that's that's exactly what it was. Now, the big thing for them to do, since this is a problem with manufacturing and it is their problem with their phone that they you know put out that people pay good money for um, first thing uh, if I was a lot of people if it was me I would seriously I would take the phone back I would return it and go back to my 3GS phone okay and it, but if if they were to do the right thing which Steve if you're watching this I know you're gonna probably like hell no my stock will drop but you gotta knock the price off of the freaking bumper cases and give them to people. Everybody that pre-ordered, send them one in the you know, send them an email or you know, just send them a clear one. Produce a bunch of shitload of clear ones and just send them out for free. Okay, make them buy the different colored ones if they want. Produce a shitload of clear ones and just send them out for free. Okay, that's what they should do. Um, it should have been offered the day of release as a free, you know, clear case. Or you can purchase the extra $30 ones, but you should have told them that, hey, you know, reception on this thing sucks just like the old ones, and you really need to do something because if you touch the outside of this phone, uh, you know, the the signals jump between antennas and you lose calls when you touch the bottom of this antenna. So, you know, it's, it is what it is, guys. So, you know, I'm just really happy that I didn't sink. Uh, you know, 200 bucks and then getting this phone and switching my service and disconnecting my service. Um, guys, I really think I'm going to stick with Android. Uh, this, I've never seen, I've never seen a phone um, drop signal and drop calls because of the way you hold it. Um, yeah, sure, some, some, you know, phones may say antenna here, you know, do not play, you know, do not cup or, you know, do not sit this in the back of your seat of your car and, and lay your head on the side if you're talking on it or something. I mean, a major blocking like that, I can see. Okay, it is an electronic radio device. You kind of got to keep it out in the air. But there's no reason why you should not be able to um, securely hold your phone in your hand and choose not to put a case on it. Okay? Um, another thing is, is that they may be Invisible Shield will make a crap load of money on this because that will put a rubber barrier between their skin and that phone. So something to think about, guys. Um, you know, or silicone cases for it.
you know. But just my thoughts, guys. It uh, just seemed a little weird that they put that that bumper case out, and uh, it's coming out now that they knew it was a problem before manufacturing. So, all right, guys, Mr. Biggie Mac, saying I'll see you guys on YouTube. Have a good one.